All right, guys, so today's video, we got a product review going on over here. So they've sent me this uh, portable air compressor, which only reason because I know a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, if I don't want to do the onboard air like the uh, Rammer has, is there an onboard air? There is a lot. This company sent me this. We're going to try it out. But it does say that a, uh, the maximum pressure is 150 PSI. The working time, eight minutes. So I don't know now after eight minutes if that means it's going to shut off. Uh, but we'll test it out and see. It is does or it does come in a nice little uh, case like this. Gives you a nice pouch. Uh, you got stuff if you want to pump like a soccer ball or something like that. Uh, you got here's the pump right here. It is a cigarette lighter version or model, I should say. And this is what it looks like right here. Got to get it out of the plastic here for you. Guys. Oh, oh, oh got stuff on. Okay. So I would assume you just flip that switch and uh well that's it now we're gonna test this we're gonna test it on um the razor or razor the can-am i'll see if i can find let me see if there's i'm curious on cfm rating how many cfm it puts out so it doesn't say it pulls 10 amps does da, 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 no i don't see anywhere where it says cfm on here guys so we will uh i'll just test it out and see also i got some big news for you guys so might not be needing to use any more generators anymore. You guys know in my last desert video, I used this generator right here. And I used to use that 2000. Well, stay tuned. We've been, uh, or I've been talking to some companies and um, might ex navies and just pretty much go off the grid with the new ding ding over there. And not, I'm saying off the grid where I'm still going to have the big generator in there. But we're going to talk about some major things for that because somebody contacted me and said, Eddie, you know, I watch your videos. Why do you use a generator? You know, why do you even have that generator when you got that toy hauler? That toy hauler is capable of, you know, they said pretty much yada, 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 this, this, that, and that. <laughs> so if this really works, they're going to send me some stuff. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys figured it out. But if this works, that will be great because then I don't have to drag that thing around. I won't have to, um, you know, deal with the fuel. I won't have to deal with pulling the generator out, which I love that generator. I mean, it makes life, you know, a lot easier and amazing. And it, it's nice, it's quiet, it's simple. But now, if I can run all this stuff, you know, on, uh, well, what, well, I don't want to say anything because I don't know if it's really going to work, guys. So I don't want to get you excited and, and put stuff in your head until I know, okay, this stuff's really going to work. Uh, but just know that we got a lot of things coming for the Ding Ding 2.0. Also, another bad thing. So I have called a bunch of companies to re-gear the Rammer, and unfortunately, nobody has gears for the Ram right now. So uh, if you guys are looking to re-gear your Ram, so I guess on the you know older models up to 18, the rear end booty of the Ram. You have a couple options. You got 11.5, you got 11.7, you got 11.8. Well, the new 19 Rams, I don't know if on 2500 it's the same, but on this 3500, that rear ring gear is 12. And unfortunately, that 12.0 size is not available right now uh, with any company. You know, I checked Yukon, uh, none of them. They said, no, we haven't made any gearing uh, for the uh, newer trucks with that size. Now, if you're 2500, 11.8, 11.9, 11.5, you can do it. If it's 12, not gonna happen. So, the gearing, we're gonna hold off until um, somebody comes out with it. But yes, I am going to regear this thing. But now, let's uh, try, whoa, 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 okay. Let's try out this little handy dandy uh, uh, air, comp portable air compressor. And I will say this is nice because it's small enough where you can store it in, uh, you know, your Can-Am because what's nice about the Can-Am is it has a cigarette plug. Even the razors, they have cigarette outlets in it. So if you need air, this thing's pretty nice, pretty handy. We'll just see. Uh, we're going to dump all the air out of this, flatten all the tires. Pretty much the desert season's over anyways. It's getting too hot. It's over 100 degrees next weekend. So we're going to change uh, these tires out and put the knobbies on it now. I don't like to uh, let them sit on the paddles. But let's check out uh, this air pressure and see how it works. All right, so this is pretty cool, guys. It's got, uh, you can change. I was playing with it. You got PSI. Here, let me uh, let it get a focus for you right there. You got PSI options. You got VAR. You got KPA. You got KFGCM and PSI. So right now, I got it hooked in here. It says it's at 5 PSI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to, 
uh, dump a bunch of the air out, get it low. But what's nice is you can set this to whatever you want and then it will shut off. So you can set this all the way up to 150. Now I'm going to dump the air out here and then once this, all this air is dumped, we're going to set this to 10 and see how long it takes for this thing to get up to 10 PSI. Also, you guys, a lot of you comments and say, hey, what the heck's up with the uh, Jeep vlog? You know, what happened to the Jeep footage? Uh, I gotta say, GoPro is a piece of, and um, they pretty much lost all my footage. I had great footage for you guys of us Jeeping, and the GoPro, I don't know what's going on, but it started going like pink and purple when I went to play it back, and then like, supposedly, I played it and some of it got on when I was editing it for you guys, and then I replayed it, and it was completely gone, and it was like, it was weird, it started like, I don't know how to say, it, it looked like the old school black boxes when you try to watch TV on the channels that you know you weren't supposed to watch, but you know how you can like kind of see them in between, but you didn't get to have that channel fully, but you, you got a little bit, you know, in between there, that's what the GoPro looked like, so I apologize for that, guys, uh, GoPro is just, I hate them. And unfortunately, uh, their product is junk. I've never had good luck with a GoPro. But uh, we got this tire completely flat here. So now we're going to uh, put the valve core back in here. Let me hold on one second. And um, we're gonna set it to 10 and then just see how long it takes to, uh, or for it to go to back to the uh, 10 PSI. All right, we got it to 10 there. So now uh, this thing should shut off when it's at 10 PSI, it's showing zero. So let's see. I am. All right, guys. I will say uh, this thing when I had it plugged in with the Can Am, just the on position didn't seem like it was pumping fast. I have started the Can Am up right now. You guys see here, and this thing just turned on like turbo mode, and it's filling it uh, pretty damn quick. You can see here. It's only honestly been about. 40 seconds and it's at 7 psi so i gotta say uh this thing is pretty dang good just make sure if you're using your truck or car or can am i would start it leave it on some people like to use it off you can but it feels a lot slower with it being off now i'm gonna get my uh tire tool and see if it really you know how accurate it is see if it's really at 10 and see if it turns off at 10 uh because it's set to 10 so supposedly that thing should stop at 10 uh PSI, so uh, we'll see. Then when it does shut off, we'll see if it actually says 10 PSI. Oh, look at that. It shut off, guys. Now, it's, I'm not, I'm not sure what that is right there, why it says that, but let's, uh, we're gonna check it and see if it's at that 10 mark. All right, I just checked it. It said seven, guys, so it looks like uh, it's accurate, but when you set it, so if you got it set here to 10, it's not going to take it to 10. So I put it to 15. So now I'm going to turn it on, and when you turn it on and off, it tells you the pressure. So that's accurate. This is saying that it's at 7 PSI right now. So when I hook my good gauge, the accurate gauge up right here to it and check it, turn that on so 7.2 so it's almost pretty much right on the money this said seven this says 7.2 so now let's see what we have to uh, pressure wise to do to take it up to uh, the 10 psi marker still I still got it set to 15 right now but we're just gonna flip it on go from there so I'm gonna turn it off and see what it's at now. So I would say, guys, this is probably more for your, you know, automotive. Uh, can it fill a car tire? Yes, it's going to take a while though. But for the desert people, if you want just something handy dandy for your Can-Am race or something like that, this is great. But it seems like for the speed, the CFM, uh, don't try to fill a 37-inch tire up to you know 40 50 pounds that might take a while can it do it yes it can do it uh you know it's not going to take a lot of time or it'll take some time but you don't have to sit and watch it you can turn it on let it do its thing and i think after eight minutes it will shut off well there you have it guys we're good i'm happy with that was you know quick and it's nice because you don't have to sit there and wait for it 
So if you guys are interested, you will see this. I'll put the link down in the description. You can purchase one of these. Also, you guys asked me about the light bar. Yes, we are getting ready to do the uh, light bar uh, review. I'm gonna test this uh, light bar out right here. Just wait until the uh, sun goes down. But actually, Pop saw this light bar. Wants to put it on his buggy for all of the nighttime riding that we never do. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. He wants it, so no big deal. Uh, but we will review it and we will see how bright it is. Look at this, guys. I'm just I'm gonna change these. And if you're wondering real quick why I change the tires, uh, well, because I don't like them sitting on the paddle all season. And also, number two, I like to take the Can Am out. You know, I'll go up the street every once in a while, I'll go get the mail. I don't like it just sitting here, especially with the fuel in it. Uh, so I like to, you know, just drive it around. And uh, what? But, what? My way. what are you moving out of your way? My bike. Well, why don't you park it in here, dude? No! Well, you're screwed. Move it yourself. Like I was saying, so yeah, I just like to drive it around. Um, don't like to let it sit. Anything that sits, usually you have issues later. You probably won't with these things, but that's why I like to put the tires on just to cruise it around. But look at the amount of travel this thing has. It's just insane, guys. I mean, look at this thing. It's crazy. But now it's time to uh, change some tires. Sad, this is a very, very sad. It's very hard for me to change tires. When I gotta do this, when it's that time, I get like this feeling in my stomach and I can't eat and I get like depressed and I don't know what to do. Now there's no desert. I hope there's like a cold front coming in, but it's a hundred and like two, so can't go out there anymore, guys. This is now too hot. And for you guys ask me, Eddie, what do you mean desert season? Well, this is a perfect example. So it's next week and it's gonna be a hundred out there and well, I mean, you can't enjoy yourself riding this thing in 100 degree weather. It's just too dang hot out there. Well, I gotta say, guys, this thing worked great. Uh, you know, I mean, if you want something that's nice, small, portable, I'd get one of these. And also, where I'm gonna put it, so I found some, uh, there was like a trunk for these Can-Ams that like came like this. And it was pretty deep where I could put some tools and everything on it. So I'm gonna put, uh, get the truck, put some tools, put that uh, in there just in case somebody needs air. Uh, or just anything, you know, for your, your Can-Am, your car, whatever you need. So, don't forget, click the link down below. You will get 20% off. Well, there you have it, guys. Now it's time for me to call my barber and, uh, you know, cut some of this, lower my ears, you know, do something with this hair. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.